Hello there and welcome to this tutorial and I will be showing you how to get a desktop that looks similar to an iPad and as you can see it is not perfect but it does make your desktop feel and look more like an iPad and less like Windows and this can be done in Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows whatever, Windows Vista and you don't actually need anything other than Windows for the basic, the core of it now I'm going to split this tutorial into three parts because it will be quite long because there are a lot of steps. They aren't hard but there are a lot of steps. Now the requirements for this are four programs. It isn't that many programs but there are programs required. You'll need the Flurry icon set and that is a pack of icons that give you a really nice look. They look sort of like an iPad, they're all oval shapes and everything. They look like iOS. So you can get that from iconfactory.com. All of the links will be in the description. You also need fences. This is not exactly needed, but if you want it, you can use it to make a link to your files on your desktop, even though it is all on your desktop. It's sort of like Inception, not really. But if you sort of look on my desktop, my desktop, I have a file folder over here which allows me to link to all my fo files on my desktop which are actually all here. They're all here but they're hidden and I made a link for it. And that is through fences and that is fences. And if you want to also take it a step forward further and you see the shadows and the glow you will need a photo editing software to add shadows and glow to it. Um, you can use Photoshop for this, Photoshop works fine, or you can use paint.net which is also free at paint.net, or I think it's getpaint.net, I'm not sure why it says that. I'll have the link in the description also. So that's pretty much it for the requirements. Four programs, quite simple, I'm sure you probably have all of this, except for fences and flurry icons. Let's get started. The default size for icons in Windows 7 isn't very good for this sort of transformation. That's why you need to make them larger. You can easily do this by going on the desktop, right clicking in the view menu and changing it to large icons in Windows Vista or Windows 7. You want to make sure you align the icons to the grid or else your icons will go in funny places and it won't look very organized like on the iPad. Now Windows XP it is a bit harder and it doesn't look as good because the Windows XP rendering just doesn't look that nice. All you have to do is right click properties, go into your appearance settings, press the advanced button, scroll down through the list to icon and change the size up to the maximum which is 72. Once you've done that you can apply that, press OK and your icons are now larger. The only thing is that even if I put high resolution icons in Windows XP, they won't show up in high resolution because I think there is a limit or something that's preventing it from happening. The annoying thing in Windows XP is that the start menu also grows and every single icon within Windows XP goes a bit larger. Not every single one, but a lot of them, so it doesn't look as good. That's why I only recommend this for Windows 7 or Windows XP, but if you still want to do it, you can. Now that you've changed the icon size, you have to make your shortcuts for all of the programs you want to put on your desktop. You also want to make sure you have a Flurry icon for those applications because it won't look good if you've got heaps of Flurry but then you only have one program that's missing. So you want to make sure that th you, there is a pack. You can find many of these everywhere. To create your shortcuts or for your applications if you don't already have them, you can go into your start menu, just simply right click on any program that you want. If I wanted to put videos on, you can right click send to desktop. Pretty much every program has a send to desktop option and you can do that for Windows Media Player but you notice it doesn't let you because you have to go to the default section where which I've chucked it in there. So you can still do it from the start menu all programs section and all of the icons are just appearing now. Keep doing that until you have all of the applications you want. You probably want at least 16 applications as it will look better.
Extracting icons in Windows XP or Windows 7 is very easy because the Flurry icons come in zip folder. They can be done straight from the operating system without any additional software. All you have to do is right click extract all and go through the prompts. In Windows 7 it's just extract. Windows XP you have to go through a couple of buttons and it will automatically open the Windows Explorer showing you the folder that it is extracted and you have all of the icons ready to be used. Changing the icons is also very easy. You just right click, go to the properties and click the change icon and navigate to your ICO files of the Flurry icon set. Keep doing this for each of your icons until they all look nice and you've put it, made it done. The only annoying thing is that def the default of my computer, you cannot change the icon because when you right click and go to the properties, it will open up your information for your CPU. What you have to do is right click and create a shortcut for my computer. They look exactly identical but one is a shortcut and one is actually a link. You can actually right click this shortcut to computer and change the icon while in the other one it will navigate to your system. Keep changing the icons until you've done it for every single one and it looks good.